A lot of you know that at the end of a Chinese New Year, you wear red clothes, you light firecrackers, but very few know why we do that. Now today, I'm going to tell you the story of Nian. This is Chris Leeson. Hope you enjoy the lesson today. Now let's look at this book. This little guy's name is Nian. He was a beast, and he lived in the sea. Now let's see what he looked like. Well, he looks like a lot of things. In this book, he has a horn, like a unicorn. He has mangs. He also has a tail like a dragon. Let's read the book. Long ago in China, in the deep sea, there lived a huge beast named Nian. It had a horn like a unicorn, mangs like a lion, and a tail like a dragon. So that's why we say he looked like a lot of things. Now look at the book. What was Nian doing? It looked like Nian was in the village destroying everything. So every New Year's Eve, Nian would go to the nearby village in search of food. Now we know he was looking for food. Can you see how big was it? It was probably as big as a house. And I heard that Nian's favorite food was children. So it ate the animals and the people as well. Let me ask you: What would you do if you lived in that village? Would you fight the Nian beast? Of course, people fought the beast, but Nian was too strong, too big, and too fierce. So that's why people would run away. Now we see that people are going to the mountains. So at the end of each year, the villagers had to hide far away in the mountains, so the beast Nian could not find them. Now back to the book. What do you see here? We see an old man speaking to the villagers. We have no idea what he was saying. One New Year's Eve, an old man came to the village. He knew how to drive Nian away. Here comes the rescue. This old man knew what to do. Now this old man is suggesting. Nian is afraid of the color red. The color red, bright lights, and loud noises. <laughs> the old man told the villagers. Now remember, there are three things that Nian was scared of: the color red, bright lights, and loud noises. What would you do? So at this midnight, Nian came to the village in search of food, animals, people, children. It saw red papers on the doors. We can see that in the picture, and all the bright lights, candles, lanterns. It got scared, and then everybody came out. Everyone was dressed in. Red. They lit firecrackers, which makes the noises, and beat drums. There were bands and clans everywhere. And Nian really got scared. So what would he do? It ran away to the deep sea, where it came from, and never returned. 
This is how those people drove Nian away. From then on, Chinese people wear red on New Year's Eve. This is how we get the tradition. People would decorate their homes with red couplets, red lanterns, and paper cuttings. There are dragon dances and drum shows on the streets. The night sky is bright with fireworks. This is how people celebrate Chinese New Year, or the other way we call it, Guo Nian. That means surviving the Nian Beast. 那今天的故事听懂了吗？听懂了的话呢？可以尝试回答下面两个问题。Question one: What did Nian look like? He had three features. Remember. Question two: What was Nian scared of? There were three things as well. 